YouTube workout buddies. Welcome to this week's workout. Today is the March Patrons Choice workout and that means all my patrons on Patreon have gotten together and kind of like voted on what they want to see and what they want to work. So that is what we're doing today. And so for this month they wanted a longer type of workout, um, 45 minutes to an hour. So this will definitely be closer to an hour I believe. And they wanted um, some cardio in there, some strength in there, some Tabata and also some supersets incorporated. So I've incorporated some Tabata supersets that are going to be awesome at the end. Those are always my favorite <laughs> sections. I don't know why. Um, so it's going to be full body uh, with a good leg glute focus, but we're going to get everything. Shoulders, biceps, triceps, back, core, booty, legs, uh, I said everything, right? Yeah, everything. <laughs> so, uh, okay, what are you gonna need for this workout? You're gonna be, you're gonna need some dumbbells, minor 12 pounds. You're gonna need a chair to do some step ups. You're going to need some sliders. You're gonna need uh, a couple different heavier weights. I'm gonna be using a 20 pound kettlebell and also a 35 pound kettlebell. And you'll also need a sofa. Um, or the edge of a bed to do your hip thrusts on and then you'll also need these bands for the warm-up and activation section of the workout uh, so if you don't have these I'm going to be showing a substitute of what you can do if you don't have the bands but if you have these bands go grab these as well um, it's kind of exciting the first time I'm using these bands in this workout uh, my friend gave them to me, so yeah. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get changed into my workout clothes. Uh, I'm gonna grab some water, and uh, yeah, let's get ready to do this. All right, you guys, let's get started with the warm up. For the first four minutes, you won't need any equipment. After that, you'll need your bands if you have them. And we're gonna start with 50 seconds of jumping jacks, good old fashioned jumping jacks, just to get everything warmed up and the blood pumping. And just getting us ready. I know I pretty much do the same thing for the warm up every time, so sort of if you get bored, but honestly, it's hard thinking of different warm up activities. And you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you find something that works, if you're not sick of it, I'm not sick of it, then just go with it. Eight seconds left. Good. All right, now we are gonna do three-way lunges. Let's start with the right leg. So you're gonna lunge forward, keep the chest up, now to the side. Get a nice stretch in that inner thigh, and now to the back. And now let's repeat that. This is going to be warming up our legs, loosening up our hips, just getting everything ready for all the awesome booty work we're about to do. Brace the core, let's focus on your balance and your form here. 10 seconds left. Last one. Okay, so now we're gonna do some squatting and core rotation. <laughs> okay, so come into a squat. Now you're going to twist up and come back up. Squat and rotate through your spine. Don't just, um. what I was doing sometimes is I'll rotate through the shoulder, but we don't wanna rotate through the shoulder. We wanna actually twist the spine. Warming up that core, hips, spine. Ten seconds left. Last one. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna do three-way lunges with the uh, left leg. All right. 
front, side, flat back, and reverse it. Keep the chest up and the core tight. Almost there, guys. Ten seconds left. Whew. Nice work. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit more core and glute activation. So if you have your bands, uh, get them. Put them on. Um, I use two of them because I find that just using one isn't enough for me, so just do whatever. Um, okay, so we're one of the exercises uh, that we're doing is going to be uh, lateral walks with the band. So if you don't have the bands, you're going to do fire hydrants instead. So you're going to come down onto the ground into a tabletop position and you're going to lift that leg and really squeeze going to target your glute meat, squeeze the side squat side of your butt basically. <laughs> so you're going to go like this and you're going to go for 20 reps per side, okay? But if you have your bands, go ahead and put the bands on. And we're going to start with 20 reps of glute bridges so you place your feet on the floor a bit wider than hip di hip di hip distance can't talk brace the core push up through the heels squeeze the glutes two going for 20 reps three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, one, and I don't go too super fast when I'm doing this because I really like to concentrate and develop that mind-muscle connection with my glutes, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Should be burning by the tenth. Let's just hold it up for a few seconds, brace the core, squeeze, push through the heels, and lower down. Good. All right, so now we're going to move on to bird dogs. And I'm going to keep the band on because it's just like really makes it harder with <laughs> the glute raise. Like I really feel it in my glutes when I do this. So we're gonna go for 12 reps total. So we're gonna switch sides. So that's six reps per side. So we'll count to 12. So ready, keep your hips facing towards the ground. Don't rotate through your torso and keep your spine stable. So the only thing moving is your arms and your legs. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice. Okay. Ooh, stand up with the bands on. Last, damn, these feel tight today. Last uh, exercise in the warm-up. We're doing 
band walks. So slight bend in your knees and you're just gonna walk back and forth. I'm gonna keep going until it's just like burning and I can't do any more. So let's just call it as many reps as possible. If you're doing the fire hydrants, 20 reps per leg. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Let's give you guys a side view here. Okay guys, first five minutes of HIT. Um, yeah, it's body weight only, so you won't need your weights for this part, but you will need a chair. Or um, we're also doing single leg hip thrusts, which I know doesn't really seem like a cardio exercise, but trust me, it gets the heart rate up and targets the booty amazingly. So um, if you're, I'm gonna be using my stool, but if you just have a chair, you might want to uh, roll up a yoga mat and put the yoga mat against the edge of the chair so it doesn't hurt your back. Or you can use, uh, what I usually do is use my couch, but it usually, it's just kind of annoying because it sinks in, so I don't really like using that. So you can use a couch or the edge of a bed or a chair, whatever, whatever you have. So, okay, I'm pressing start now. First exercise is two curtsy lunges and then a heel click. So let's get ready. One, two, and now heel click. All right, so that's it. Let's just repeat that. So try to keep your hips facing forward. Brace the core. If you really wanted to, you could Grab some weights for this, but I think for me, it is sufficient to do it body weight. Good job. Okay, next up we're gonna do single leg hip thrust with the right leg. So position yourself so that your shoulder blades are hitting the edge of the chair, brace the core, push through the heel, core should be remaining in one solid line, I don't want to see bending in your back, and just push the hips up as high as you can, keep, the, uh, keep your neck kind of like tilted forward, sort of like a little bit tucked. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but that helps with this exercise specifically. This is brutal. Just wait. How many have we got left? One second left. All right, so next up, a little bit of core, upper body, two plank hops, one push up. Let's get into the plank. Hop to your right elbow, hop to your left elbow. Give me one push up. Repeat. Alternative would be to 
do a frog step up and then come down onto your knees and do a push up. Good job. All right, single leg hip thrust, other side. So now your left leg is on the ground and your right leg is in the air. If you're more advanced, you can even make this harder by sticking a dumbbell over your hips. This thing that this chair that I'm using, not ideal. Maybe I'll use my bench for the next two rounds. I just wanted to be able to show you guys from the side. Good. Okay. Last exercise in the hip cardio. We've got four tricep dips and four squat jumps. So one, two, three, four. Come up. One, two, three, four. Now we're only doing four of each, so really power through, make sure your butt is staying close to the bench and your elbows are going straight back. One, two, power up, three, four. Last two seconds. Good job. All right. We made it first, made it through the first section of our hit. Okay, now we're gonna move on to strength. All right, this next exercise is a bit of a doozy. We've done something similar before. <laughs> but what you're gonna do is grab your weight, come into position to do a Bulgarian split squat. So put your leg up. Now I'm just gonna demo this once. So you're going to do a Bulgarian. Now bracing your core, you're going to lower down, put the weight down. Now you're come, gonna come into a plank and three, three uh, kickbacks. So one, brace the core. Two, really focus on that glute and that core. Three, pull the leg forward, brace the core, grab the weight. Reposition the weight, reposition your leg if you need to. And then Bulgarian again. And again, put the weight down so that's one rep. We're gonna do five reps per leg. <laughs> okay, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> so let's go. Beginners or intermediate, feel free to do this without any weight. It's still gonna be quite challenging. Okay, let's go. Oh, just make sure you're positioned right. All right, brace the core. Drop the weight, keep the back flat, put the hands down, kick back. One, two, three. Whoop. Brace the core. So that's one rep. One, two, three. Brace the core. Two, sorry, it's, we're on the third rep. So much going on in this that I'm like, what's going on? Rep number four. Butt is on fire. Rep number five.
Good job. All right. We're gonna do the other leg now. Get into position. What leg? Right. So right leg on the chair, left leg on the ground. Okay, let's go. Brace the core, place the weight on the ground. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is rep number three. One, two, three. Woo. Rep number four. Awesome. Great job. Okay, you can put the weight aside and grab your dumbbells. We're doing Mad Neighbors for five reps. I'm not going to demo because we've done this before, but I'll do the first rep slowly. So, oh man, my top keeps getting unzipped. Okay. Come down into a plank, hop back, give me one push up. Now give me a row on the right, give me another push up, give me a row on the left, hop in, bicep curl, and now turn it out, shoulder press, and curl it down. So that's one rep. We're going for five. Row, push up, row, curl, and press. That's two. These always get my heart rate up way up there. We've got two more. Come down. The weights. Push up and row. Push up and row. Curl and press. One more. Alright, if you guys are sick of doing man makers in my workouts, let me know. I just really like incorporating them because they're such an awesome full body strength exercise. They make you super strong. Get the heart rate up. I just love them. And press and lower. Okay. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We're done. Now we have one more exercise left, and that is going to be our demo one rep. We're doing five reps per leg, single leg squat, and then walk into plank. So lift your left leg, you're gonna sit down, come back up, brace the core, walk into a plank, and walk back. And that's one rep, so we're gonna do Five per, five per leg. Let me just wipe the sweat off my face and have a sip of water. And here we go. 
Right leg first, brace the core, sit down, stand up, walk into a plank. That's one. This is amazing for our booties, legs, and core. Three. Four. Really pull that core in. And five. Whew. Good. Left leg. Two. This might not seem super, super hard, but what we're doing here is working all those smaller muscles as well, and those core, those core stabilizer muscles, building a strong foundation so that when you actually do do the heavier lifts, your body is like strong and ready to do it, and you're not gonna get injured. So I think this is three or four. I can't remember now, sorry. I think I'm gonna do one more here. And we're done, okay. So that's the strength section. Now we've got a four minute Tabata section. Okay, and with the Tabata, we're doing sort of like a superset theme since that was the request. And we are doing heavy squats, alternating with squat jumps. So go get your heaviest weight, whatever is challenging for you to do squats with. Get ready, I'm gonna press start now. I'm gonna hold it in front of you, ready? And let's go, squat it out. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Make sure your knees are tracking in line with your feet. Don't let your knees cave in. I see that a lot. Good. Now we're gonna move to squat jumps. Ready? Go. Building up that power in the legs. Okay, grab the weight. Here we go. Squats. the Tabata is what I meant to say. Last squat. Good. 
Drop the weight. Get ready for the jump squats. Here we go. Last one, drop the weight. Okay, this is the last set of jump squats. Make it count, go. All the way to the end. Five seconds, you got this, go. Don't stop right now. Keep going. Good. Whew. All right. Grab some water. Catch your breath. We're gonna go back to the beginning. Okay, here we go. Round two of HIT. Cardio starts now. Got our 10 second countdown and our first exercise is the curtsy lunge with the heel click. So get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Curtsy lunge, brace the core, keep the hips forward, heel click. Let's speed this up a little. seconds left. Four seconds. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to do my hip thrusts back here. Sorry it's so far away and kind of hard for you to see me, but the little chair thing wasn't working so good for me, so I'm sorry. But I gotta do my workout, right? Brace the core, push through that heel. Really squeeze that glute. We're halfway. Take a little break when you need to. Get right back into it. Five seconds left, let's go. Can you give me a couple more reps? Whew. All right. Two plank hops, one push up. Let's get into that plank. Hop to your right elbow, hop to your left elbow. One push up. one. 
Remember to push through that heel. Keep your hips pointing towards the ceiling. This isn't supposed to be easy at all. seconds left. Good job. Okay. Four tricep dips, four squat jumps. If you want to make the dips easier, you can move your feet closer to your body. Here we go, four squat jumps. One, two, three, four. Five seconds left. Good job. All right, we finished it. So now we're gonna move on to our strength section again. All right, here we go, round two of strength. I really dislike this first exercise, just so you know, but I'm doing it because I know it's so good. Okay, so right leg down. Left leg on the chair or bench. Hold that kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever you're using. One Bulgarian. Brace the core. Place the weight down. Hands down. Three kickbacks. One, two, three. Really squeeze that glute. Pick the weight back up. Here we go. Two. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, Three. Last one. Two. Three. Whew. Nice work. Let's do the other leg. man makers. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Give me one push up, one row. One push up, one row. Hop in, stand up, curl, and press. Repeat. Push up, row, push up, row, hop in, curl, and press, back down. Number four, push up, row, push up, row, in, curl, and press. Last one. job. All right, I feel like my battery, it looks like it's about to die. So I'm just going to keep going until it dies. So my other battery's charging right now. Okay, let's go. Single leg squat. I'm going to use the kettlebell because I felt like it was a little bit too easy. So, oops. Sit down, stand up, put the weight down, walk into a plank. Walk back, pick up the weight, and let's go again. That's one. Number three. All right, I'm going to lower with a bit more control this time. There we go. Number three, brace the core. That's number four. Last one. Good job. Now we're gonna switch sides. your back flat when you're picking up putting down that weight core should be engaged three one all right good job all right next we're moving on to our second Tabata section all right so for Tabata section number two you're gonna need your weight and a chair we're alternating curtsy lunges with power side power step ups. So let me just show you. So we're just going to stand to the side of your chair. 
And then power step ups like that, power through the leg, glutes, quads. And then we're gonna be doing curtsy lunges with a weight. So we're gonna keep repeating the same leg. So just stick with me, I'll cue you as to the right. Um, cue you as to which leg we're doing, okay? So let me just, I just wanna see whether I should do it with, oh my God, this thing's so heavy. I think I should do it with my heavy guy, yeah. All right, so grab whatever weight you want. I'm gonna be using my 35 pound kettlebell for this. We're gonna start with curtsy lunges on the right leg. So left leg is lunging back. Ready, go. Keep the hips facing forward. Again, this is our superset Tabata. So we're gonna be doing one strength interval, you know, followed by the power interval. Good. So now, right leg, step up, power step up. Ready? It seems like the first 10 seconds is always so long, the break, and then it gets shorter and shorter. You're like, oh my God, how did that, only be, how was that only 10 seconds? Two, one, good, okay. So now, left leg, curtsy lunge. Let's go. Nice and deep, brace the core, keep the hips. Oh, I'm doing the wrong leg, sorry. It's like, that feels really fatigued. <laughs> Hips forward, chest up, good. Now left leg, power step up. Here we go. to the right leg with that curtsy lunge. You should be feeling it in your glute, your quad, keeping your core nice and braced. Ready for those power step ups? Here we go. Really brace your core here. Power up through the leg, come on. Push off. Push off that heel. Come on, fly into the air. I know you can do it. Good job. All right, last two rounds, guys. We are curtsy lunging with the left leg. I don't know why I keep wanting to repeat the right leg. Good. Step ups on the left. Good job. All right. Catch your breath, get some water. We have done two of three rounds. We're just gonna do the hit, the strength, the Tabata one more time, and then you'll be done the workout. All right, last round of hit cardio. 
five measly minutes, you can get through this, no problem. Okay, we're starting with curtsy lunge and heel click. Here we go. Ah, feels so nice to just do body weight now, doesn't it? Brace the core. seconds left. Good. Okay. The dreaded single leg hip thrust. I don't know if you're dreading it, but it seems like I am. Here we go. Right leg. Brace the core, push through that heel. Nice, stable back. You don't want to be bending through your spine during this movement, it's just like a lever. seconds. Come on. A few more reps. You got this. Oh Alright, that was a good set. Okay, now what are we doing? We're doing two plank hops and one push up. Get into your plank. Hop to your right elbow. Hop to your left elbow. Give me a push up. seconds. Great job. Whew. All right. Let's get that single leg hip thrust. On the left. Here we go. It's the last time you have to do this. Thank goodness, right? Really push through that heel. Brace the core. Keep your hips pointing up towards the ceiling. Concentrate on that mind muscle connection. We've got five seconds left. Good job. All right, four tricep dips, four squat jumps. One. Two, three, four. Squat jumps. Make them big. This is the last interval. Good 
Good job. All right, we did it. So on to our last strength section. All right, you guys, last time we have to do these exercises. Do you like how I just completely can't talk when I'm out of breath and just like done? It's like, uh, sometimes I'm like, I should go back and edit that out. I'm just like, oh well. Okay, Bulgarians, right leg on the ground, left leg on the bench. Here we go. Brace the core, put the weight down. One, two, three. Pick up the weight. Two. One. Two. Three. Three. Here we go, rep number four. And rep number five. Five more reps. Ooh, looks like the sun's coming out, that's nice. One, two, three, two, one, two, Three. Three. One. Two. Three. That's four. Two. Three. Ugh. Last, last rep. One, two, three. Yes, we're done. We're done. Okay. All right, man makers. Just need to towel myself off. Are you sweating? Definitely sweating. All right, five reps. Man levers. Just gotta tighten my dumbbells. Okay. All right. First core. Here we go. One push up. One row. One push up. One row. Up in, bicep curl, and press it up, and down. Okay, number two, here we go. See this workout? I really think it's a great total body workout. We're really pretty much getting everything here. We've got, you know, biceps, triceps, shoulders, a little bit of back with the rows. Obviously tons of legs and booty as always. And then we got some core in there as well. And cardio. Yeah. I think it's gonna end up being a lot longer than I thought. I wanted this workout to be 45 minutes, but I think it's gonna be closer to an hour. Okay. Two more reps. 
One push up. One row. One push up. One row. Oh, doing push ups with these dumbbells is not easy. Well, I'm sure you know. You're doing the same thing. Okay. Last rep. Let's get it done. Man, these man makers are brutal. Oh, okay, here we go. One push up, one row. Push up, row. Hop in, bicep curl, shoulder press. Nice work. Put the weight down. Okay, now. Straight into our last strength exercise, single leg squat. Brace the core, lower with control, stand back up. Walk into a plank, hold, squeeze the glutes, pull the abs in as you come up. Stand up, grab your weight if you're using one. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Last one. And five. Switch legs. I found that my uh, glutes obviously have gotten a lot stronger since I've been lifting more and doing more glute activation. But um, one thing I really notice is when I used to do these single leg squats, my knee would cave in so badly and now I'm a lot more stable and my knee doesn't really cave in when I do them. So it's really cool to kind of see the progress and the effects of certain exercises and how they affect other exercises and your overall strength. So I think we're on number three now. That was number four. We've got one more. guys we've got four minutes left to bata finisher and then we're done okay so for the tabata section we're focusing on core and cardio so um, you're gonna need your sliders so I'll do a quick demo so we're gonna be doing a knee in and a pike so you're gonna come into a plank bring the knees in keeping the hips down and stable. And then after that, pike. So you're gonna bring the hips up and really squeeze your, contract your core. And we're just alternating those two moves. And then for the uh, other interval, it's gonna be 10 high knees with one tuck jump at the end. So 10 high knees, one tuck jump, repeating. If you don't wanna do the tuck jump, you can do a squat jump or just do a squat or just keep doing high knees and don't stop doing high knees. Okay, ready, ready guys, ready to finish this off. I'm so ready. Okay, we're gonna start on the ground. So get onto your plank, onto your sliders, bring those knees in. Now pike it out, 
one. Uh, I don't need to count, actually. <laughs> what am I doing? And you should definitely be feeling this in your core. Holy cow, I'm definitely feeling it. Good. Alrighty. High knees with a tuck. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tuck. onto your sliders. Now really do this with control. Don't just flop around, okay? So bring the knees in. Keep everything still. Now bring the hips, hips up, back down. You should really be feeling this in your lower abs and your upper abs on that pike. <sighs> yeah. I'm feeling it. Okay, high knees with a, with a tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Lats off. Good. Okay, we're halfway done. Back to the plank. Knee in and pike. Oh, just so you guys know. I'm totally gathering all my last ounces of strength right now during that pike. Okay, let's go. Really get those knees up. Nice big tuck jump. Come on, guys. All right. Last time for the sliders. You excited? I'm excited. Make it your best. Bring the knees in. Pike it up. Awesome. 20 seconds guys, you got this, knees way up, make it your best set, Patreon, as always, for supporting me and giving me the ideas for these workouts that I do once a month. So if you'd like to join me on Patreon, link is in the description. Yeah, so don't forget to stretch, drink lots of water, refuel yourself with some good food. And uh, just in case you guys don't know, I recently came out with a recipe book called This Is How I Eat. And it's basically a collection of all my favorite go-to high protein whole foods, plant-based recipes. So if you're kind of like, I want not seeing results, not really knowing what to eat. I'm not saying I know what you should eat, but I'm just saying you can look at my book and see something in there might work for you. So 
Anyways, if you're interested in my recipe book, I'll put the link in the description. And that is all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next workout. Bye!